Link. Link. Wake up, Link. Pull yourself together, Link. Come to your senses yet? You are surprisingly dull witted. <laughs> Did I startle you? I suppose that is only natural. As wide as the world is, I am the only boat upon it who can speak the words of men. I am the king of red lions. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. Link, I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. But such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him, the shadow that commands that monstrous bird. His name is Ganon. He who obtained the power of the gods, attempted to cover the land in darkness, and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the emperor of the dark realm the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Tell me, Link, do you still wish to save your sister from him? Hmm. And will you do anything to save her? Mm -hmm. I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone by what little strength you possess. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. In that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Ah, uh, but I am getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail, and a boat with no sail can sail no seas. I have brought you far to the east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. I am sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. But remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. Oh! Oh, if you please, young boy there, please help me! Please, listen to my tale of woe. Oh! My sweet, sweet daughter, my only daughter! Oh, poor Maggie. She was captured by a bunch of villains and taken to the Forsaken Fortress. Oh, what on earth do those scoundrels want with her? Are they just roaming around looking for young maidens? Are they just evil creatures who delight in mischief? Well, crud. Having a kidnapped daughter doesn't get you a single rupee, you know. Please, please save my poor daughter. I beg of you. Here I stand, begging. I hope you'll give those scoundrels in the Forsaken Fortress a good scare. They'll pay for what they've done. Oh, yes, pay. You don't look at all familiar, buddy. Are you some kind of tourist or something? If you are, I'll show you around. Why don't you join me for a little stroll around town? Our Windfall Island may be a little cozy, so to speak, but people from all over the world come here. The town's always lively. 
Why, just walking around and having a look at things is quite fun. That's the mark of a great town. If you could indulge me for a moment, please admit that I am looking fine. Why, looking this fine would have won me the Miss Windfall crown way back when. I'm still looking better than all the younger girls I know. <laughs> Welcome to the fleet. I am the great Admiral Dolvalski. Look sharp, for we are the sole protectors of this island. Admiral, red alert, all hands on deck. Well, what do you think of my outfit? You don't see clothes like this often, do you? Aren't they so cute? A friend of mine who lives on Outset Island sent this outfit to me. She's an amazing girl. She can put jars on her head and walk around like it's nothing at all. You have to see it to believe it. This town is our turf. The turf of the world famous killer bees. Don't mess with us. Yeah! Buzz! Buzz! Hey! It's just because you're older. Don't think it makes you tough or anything. You stink, mister. <laughs> hey, bud. What are you? Some kind of country rude? I mean, look at that outfit. What a getup. We ain't seen your face around here before, bud. You must feel pretty lonely walking around a place like this all by yourself. What are you doing anyway? <laughs> are you a hick or something? Why are you wandering around here looking so sad? You think it's fun to go walking through town looking all pathetic? You think that makes you a big man? You're looking for a sail? I have no idea where you'd find one. Do I look like a sailor to you? Look, I'm feeling down right now, so shove off, will you? Go pester that guy in the massive coat or whatever. My story is a strange one. I came across cursed seas from a land far away. A land where the blizzards blow violently, heading for this town called Windfall. Dear me, my ship was torn apart by vicious winds, and this island is where I washed ashore. There was one other person with me. Yes, there was. But I dare say, he was immediately arrested based on his somewhat suspicious looks and thrown right into jail. Yes, just locked up somewhere on this island. Needless to say, I'm really worried about him. Would you be so kind as to help free him from captivity? Indeed, it would be appreciated. appearance does not surprise you, then you, sir, must be a fairy, just like Tingle. Goodness, did you feel my telepathy? That's why you saved me, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Do not worry, Tingle knows without you telling him, sir. Yes, sir. Tingle is my name. I have been looking for you and your kind, for I too long to be one of the fairy folk. And yet, I was mistaken for some kind of troublemaker and put into this dreadful sort of place. How disrespectful! Please, Mr. Fairy, rescue poor Tingle from this place and take him to where you and your kind live in splendor! Hope. Ah! Hooray! Thank you oh so very much! Here is Tingle's heartfelt gift of thanks! Tingle, Tingle, Kululim, ah! Become an item! Splendid! Tingle is returning now to his own special island. Will you come find him? 
Ah! I was forgetting something important. Oh, Mr. Fairy, you want to come to my island, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Yay! If you ever need any help with your charts, just leave it to Tingle. Don't ever forget it. Really? You have rescued him? That is news I deem rather great. You are one stand-up individual, indeed you are. Now I apologize, as I have but another favor. I'm actually considering starting up a little shop here on the island, but I'm having trouble funding my venture. I have but one asset to my name. I wonder if you might buy it from me, perhaps. The people on this island have no interest in venturing out into these dangerous seas, so my chance of selling it to them is rather bleak. The bleakest I can describe. I'd really like to ask 200 rupees for it. But as a favor for rescuing my friend, perhaps we may strike a deal. How does 80 rupees sound? Yes, yes, yes! Thank you very much indeed! I have received precisely 80 rupees for it! I can use these funds to finance my new business! Oh dear me, what a happy day! Very well, young master! As I promised, please, take that! Yay! Yes, yes, yes! You have made a good purchase today, my young master! And you have saved my life and business as well. Treasure it dearly. It is the finest sale in the world. Treat it as such. Oh, that look in your eye. So you found yourself a sale, have you? Now, a westerly wind blows. Hop in and let it carry us to the east. On the horizon. That is our destination, Link. Dragon Roost Island. High atop this island's peak lives the spirit of the skies, a great dragon by the name of Valu. You must go see this dragon and request from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait just a moment. This is the Wind Waker. It is a baton of sorts that was used long ago when the people played music in prayer to the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods. But I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. First, conduct in 3-4 time. Very nice, that was splendid. Next is 4-4 time. That's it, Link. That was not bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. Yay! Link? Link, is that you? It is. I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she... Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Link. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I've told my people here about you, and all of us Rito are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our Airy. It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Link. I'll be waiting.
Well, have you discovered the cause of the great Valu's anger? Ah, so, you are Link, are you? Quill has told me all about you. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there is anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice a raging dragon perched atop the mountain? As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit, Valu. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the Great Dragon. It is the scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Valu on Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. As chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Link with regards to your son, Prince Komali? As you can see, Link is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Komali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. Let me be direct. My son, Kamali, is of the age to earn his wings. Yet, he is weak in some ways, and in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible, so that we may better help you with yours. I have something I wish for you to give to my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I am counting on you. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the Great Valu to us. In the meanwhile, do your best to aid Prince Komali. Wow! You really do have blue clothes! With a picture of a crawfish on them! You're Link, right? Oh! Me? I'm an attendant to the Great Sky Spear of Valu. My name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here, this is from the Chieftain. Link, he wants you to give this directly to Prince Kamali. Yay! The room way in the back on the first floor is Prince Kamali's room. You have to go down a couple steps to get there. When you meet Prince Kamali, please don't get offended by his manner. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, um... Listen, Link? I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dragon Roost Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. A letter from my father? Oh, sure. Telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to go get a scale from Valu. 
You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Fulu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What? Are you trying to say that you can calm Valu down? Psh! That's just a big fat lie! It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing! I'll tell you what. If you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. Hey, you actually came! I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great Baloo, he became so angry and... In his rage, he shook the mountain and this boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the results. Oh, but where is my mind? Tell me, how is Prince Kamali? Oh, that doesn't sound right. Not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Kamali's taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was the Great Baloo's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave, and unsurpassed in her dealings with the Great Baloo. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. If only I possessed some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Link, I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the Pika Dragon Roost, but that ledge over there is so high. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. So... Will you help me? Woo! Thank you so much! Okay, pick me up. Then face that ledge and toss me. The atmospheric currents are really messed up, so pay close attention to the direction of the wind. Alright, I'm ready! Don't hold back now! Throw me as hard as you can! Ha! Oh, thank you! I think now I'll be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet with the Great Baloo! Don't worry, I'll be fine! I may just be an apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the Great Baloo's language! I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but... Look! If anything happens to me, please look after Prince Komali! This is all I have to give you! I know it's not much, but please take it! Yay! Oh, and please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roost! It'll be our secret, okay? Well, good luck to both of us!
to tell you what I found out. This is terrible. Some creature is doing awful things to the Griefalu's tail. That's why he's so angry. The Griefalu's tail hangs down into the room right below here. There's gotta be something in there. I wonder if those mean monsters who captured me have something to do with it. We've got to do something. Now, before it's too late. I'll go and tell everyone what's happening. Here, Link. Use this to get out of here. It's what I used to get this far. It's a device we Rita used before we evolved wings. Here, Link. Climb up on that little ledge over there so I can show you something. Grab this branch with a grappling hook and you can swing over there to get out of this area. Don't you worry about me, Link. Get going! Something you want to say? Um, I heard everything from Medley. Link, thank you so much. I'm sorry I mistrusted you. I hope I can be like you someday, Link. You will, Kamali. I just know it. Right, Link? So, Link, here. I want you to take this, Link. Giving you the thing I value most will give me the courage I need to stand up to bad things. <gasps> the 
the great Baloo is grateful to you, Link. Oh, hero! Thank you! Oh, hero! Use the Wind God's wind! Use the Wind God's... wind? That's what he said, but... I don't understand. I wonder what it means. The Wind God's wind. I wonder if what he's talking about has anything to do with the wind shrine that's through that tunnel. Oh, I almost forgot. The Great Baloo also names you, Link, a true hero. I agree with him, as far as we're concerned. Link, you really are a hero. Well, I'm gonna go and visit Baloo. I'll come and see you sometime, with the best pair of wings ever. Hey, Prince Komali! Thanks so much, Link. See you again someday. <laughs> <laughs>